Hi friends, Mickey from Figma here. Today we're going to talk about editing objects across multiple frames in Figma, the way that it works now and how it used to work previously. So let's go. Let's begin by selecting the first object in each one of these mockups. You will see that if I scale them while holding down the shift and the alt key, they will all scale from the sensor. And if I rotate them, they will all rotate independently within their frames. Let's see how that used to work. Before multi-edit, if I were to select all of those objects and attempt to scale them down, they're going to scale as if they are a group of objects. And if I rotate them, it's going to rotate from the sensor, which is not exactly what we're looking for. One new distinctive feature is the ability to select matching layers across a series of frames. So if I select this rectangle here and I click on select matching layers, what it will do is find the matching layers across that series of frames. In order to select matching frames, it relies on layer name and position. If I was to select this blue square right here and select matching layers, you'll see that it only selects these two. However, if I select all of these objects over here and rename them the same, so if I type rectangle, they now have the same naming and layer order as these here. If I select that first one and I select the matching layers, you'll see that it also matches with this particular object, even though visually it doesn't look the same. Next, let's talk about how you can edit text across many frames. I'm going to select the text across each of these frames. When I press enter, I can now edit that text. I can change that to hello world. Now let's take a look at how this used to work. When I select all of this text here, I have to choose one text field to edit. I am not able to edit multiple text fields at the same time. So once again, I can select all three of these frames, press enter, and then change that text. And it, you'll see it update in all of those fields respectively. Now let's talk about how editing across frames work with other features such as auto layout. I'm going to select the objects in this first frame. I'm going to select those matching layers and I'm going to press shift a. What has happened, you can see the auto layout has been added and here each respective frame has its own auto layout wrap applied. Let's take a look at how that used to work. If I was to select all of the objects in their respective frames and press shift a, you will see that it is not at all what we expected. The auto layout is taking place in this last frame and the contents from those first two frames are being moved into the last frame. So once again, let's undo and let's walk through how to set up the auto layout. Let's look at my layers panel and you can see that each of those matching frames are in those respective layers. I can select those items in that first frame, go to select matching frames and press shift A. And now in each frame, we have a different set of auto layout objects. That's pretty awesome. One other cool thing with auto layout, I can select matching objects. Let's change the color and move those objects within the auto layout. So you can multi-edit not only within the frames, but across auto layout frames. The last thing I'm going to show you is that multi-edit can be applied to many, many frames. If I select this footer object, I can select matching layers and make adjustments to them all. Now you can also scope groupings of frames using sections. If I select this object and then choose select matching layers, it's only choosing the footer objects within the frames that are inside of that section. So I can come down here and change their colors and make edits respectively. How cool is that? Be sure to check out the playground file as well as the rest of the videos in this playlist to get all the specifics on how to get the most out of multi-edit in Figma. And as always, happy designing.